Well, the suitability of the last two of 11 candidates to lead the National Prosecuting Authority were tested today. Advocate Simpu M. Klotwa, as well as Advocate Shamila Bhatti uh, were interviewed and Klotwa served as the Acting Director of Public Prosecutions for KZN and Bato, he rather, was Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions in KwaZulu-Natal and then later served as Senior Legal Advisor to the Prosecutor at the International Criminal Court. Well, joining us live from Pretoria is our reporter Patricia Fasahi. A very good evening to you, Patricia. Of course, it's been quite the it's been quite the media coverage. Finally, being able to see uh, these NDPP interviews get underway. We saw it went off to a very very good start. As we come to the conclusion to the last two, take us through to today's highlights. Good evening, Francis, and to our viewers. Certainly a marathon, uh, grueling interview is taking place in the heart of the U uh, union buildings, of course, in pursuit of a proper and fit uh, leader to, of course, head the NPA. Um, it's been uh, very interesting to see the information that's really coming out from uh, the whole interview process, uh, in particular, the information that really tested the credibility and integrity of the 11 candidates before uh, the panel of eight members headed by the Energy Minister, Jeff Khadebe. Uh, now, today we had two last candidates, and that was Simpiwe Hlojwa, um, who, of course, uh, is from uh, KZN. He used to be in the NPA, he has since less left the institution to join uh, the private sector. And he really gave um, a very interesting picture of why he left the institution in 2015, uh, talking about uh, the pressures that he had to uh, endure and how some of his colleagues at the time made his job difficult. He also went into detail speaking about the factions and also how he was, uh, you know, stopped at times uh, where his colleagues tried um, to prevent him from uh, prosecuting certain influential politicians and, uh, of course, the famous Amigos case in uh, KZN and how he um, also logged horns with Nomkla uh, Wojiba at the time. Uh, so uh, those were some of the details that came out and he said that um, eventually he grew tired of the frustrations and uh, the sidelining and the pressures that he came across and he left the institution and now he feels that he has had a break, um, he is a, a new person and he is ready to lead uh, uh, the NPA. But of course the panel not taking it lightly saying but why did you not stand it? Stand for all of it. Um, is that the kind of person that needs to lead the NPA? Somebody who does not stand the heat? Because that uh, position is a position where you have to stand your ground and you have to, of course, deal with uh, different scenarios, different characters and different challenges. Francis. Yeah, uh, definitely. It is the uh, Chantaine studio. Uh, Francis is also joining us, uh, Patricia. Uh, also then just take us through how the candidates have been received and where to from now. Is it a waiting game? Well, uh, Shante, um, it certainly is, but we don't have much time. The president, of course, has till the 19th of December to appoint um, a new NPA uh, 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 a leader. So just to speak about the uh, other candidate, and that was the last one, and that is advocate uh, uh, Shamila uh, Batoy, who also testified. Now, she um, used to head the NPA in KZN. She's currently with the ICC. Um, obviously, strong credentials, great experience, very uh, qualified. And one of the things that she repeatedly highlighted was that she will only head the NPA if the president can uh, guarantee the independence of uh, the institution. And of course, uh, she highlighted how she would uh, go into fixing the problems that exist. Uh, so right now, um, from the um, interviews, the string of interviews that we have heard and the various characters that came before, in, in fact, also uh, some of the discrepancies that came forth. The panel will now have to go and sit and, of course, peruse all the information before them. And they will select three candidates um, that they will then recommend to President Cyril Ramaphosa from those three or other four names, if possible. He then will make a selection. And then in the next coming weeks, the country will then know who is the person the president thinks is uh, fit and proper to lead the NPA. And, of course, restore the integrity and credibility of the institution and claim back uh, the public confidence. 
Thank you very much. We're going to wrap it up there. SABC's Patricia Fasahi for SABC.